Now today we are joined with uh, Chef Ashoka, who is the sous chef, the head chef of Il Ponte at Colombo Hilton. And he's going to be showing us today how to do a basic pizza and how, you know, he'll give us some ideas on how to do variations as well. We have flour. Yes, we have the yeast. Yeah. We have the salt. Yeah. We have sugar. Right. We have the olive oil. Yeah. And we have warm water. Okay. And, and cheese. Cheese. And tomato congasse. Tomato congasse. So yes. that's basically pureed tomato. Pureed tomato, yes. Right. Actually, it's very easy to make. Okay. This garlic. Yeah. Peel garlic and tomato. Okay. We saute in the pan. Yeah. And cover yeah. to simmer. Yeah. And only 10 minutes that blend it. That's all. Oh, that's it. Yes. So simple that's as that. So we are making that authentic. Italian pizza, really. Yeah. First of all, we have to do the, for the fermentation. Yeast. Yep. The okay. yeast preparation is at warm water. water. Yes. Warm water. Then pinch of sugar. Yeah. Then for the yeast. Yeast. And then pinch of flour. Yeah. And sugar is a bit of food for the yeast. Yes. Yes. To ferment. Yeah. And we have to cover and we have to keep more than uh, for the period 10 minutes. Okay. Till then, so we can add the double. Water yeah. for the base water. As this is two liters, yeah. one and a half is enough for uh, 250 grams of flour. Salt, okay. Olive oil, right. Sugar, yeah. That although this yeast, yeah. And we mix well, and we put into the Added that into our base. Okay. And we have to first of all we have to mix well with well, this one. Okay, so before you add in the flour, you flour, yeah, you yeah. have to mix well. Yeah. Then only flour. Yeah. Okay, the whole thing in. Yes. Right. And then we'll, we have to mix well. Compared to a regular dough, you actually did add a bit of oil. Why is that? Uh, oh, we need to put the flavor. Okay. And uh, flavor and uh, you can uh, you can remove from the uh, oven. It's very easy so to it remove. So it doesn't stick them. too much. Yes. Right. Okay. This dough we have to keep for uh, about two three hours. Okay. Actually, two, after actually the, yeah, after two three hours, it's become like this. So we have to lay out this. Yeah. This is the basic dough. Yeah. And this is the dough, yeah. we have to roll it out like this by hand, really. This is the real Italian way. Alright. So, always use your hands. Yes. When the, in Italy, there are the rural villages, yeah. there are all the ladies are doing like this. Okay. So, I mean, using the hands, I would assume that the warmth of the hands also helps with the dough. Yes. Then uh, inside, you will get the air. Yeah. yeah. Then it will become soft. Okay. Okay. If you roll, if you the rolling thing, if you roll it, that by air bubble really is gone hard. out and it will get hard. Right. And then add that common tomato puree. Yeah. Can you roll it out? Oh, I love that. You can actually see a nice bit of garlic. Yeah. So you season that as well. Yeah, bit. definitely. Yes. Yeah, you season with the and, and if you want, actually, you can flavor with that any herbs, any kind of okay. herbs. Okay. Okay. Any herbs, you can flavor really. Get oregano, like oregano, okay. rice, uh, thyme, tarragon, rosemary, anything. Okay. Mozzarella cheese. Yeah. Oh, That's beautiful. also you can add a soup, uh, a soup flavor. Yeah. Tasty. If you want more moisture, mm -hmm. you can have to add more. more cheese. If you need yes, if you need that crispy, yeah, only less cheese. Okay. Okay. That's the secret. Mozzarella now, uh, you'd actually find that you can actually get a local mozzarella available at most supermarkets as such. Uh, and if you if you prefer herbs to be added in there, you can pick up fresh herbs from either one of the markets or you can get the dried herbs from any of the supermarkets. Then in that one, only seven minutes. Okay, so once it goes in the oven, seven minutes there, that's yes. it. And I noticed one thing, like uh, I think one of, the, one of the most common mistakes we make is we put the pizza base, the puree, the cheese, and then we put the topping also on top. But what I saw chef do the proper Italian way was a uh, base, tomato puree, and just the cheese, yes. and just seven minutes in there. Any particular reason for that, chef? Yeah, there is actually basic pizza. Okay. That if you win, you can make any flavors. Okay. That eaten vegetable or chicken, beef, any flavor as you please, you can do that. Okay, I'm, I'm actually quite excited about uh, seeing this pizza come out because I actually want to take a piece of that. 
So now this oven, this is like a typical Italian oven. Let's say how many degrees uh, temperature? Uh, uh, 180 degrees. 180. So that will be like pretty much the top line of uh, any any regular oven. And uh, yeah, let's see. Right, he's turning it around, and it's looking absolutely gorgeous. So now even with the puree, if you wanted the flavors and stuff, you could put so many different flavors onto that. Yes, even that instead of tomato puree, you yeah. can use that pesto. Pesto means that basil, basil, right. pine nuts and olive oil. Okay, you blend it wow. And, you can add. and then, so that's basically basil, pine nuts and olive oil. Olive oil and parmigiana cheese. If you don't want to go through the hassle of making an actual pizza dough at home and you don't actually have the time, uh, there are ready-made doughs to be bought in pretty much most of the main supermarkets as such in Colombo and out, outside Colombo. All you need to do is pick up maybe a tin of pureed tomatoes and then mix up with a bit of garlic and then you, you're ready to go. Whoa, okay. I mean, I thought it was way more complicated than that, but I mean, Chef Ashok has shown how easy it is to make the an authentic Italian pizza. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get it, dig in there and start tasting it. Uh, but I might have to wait a minute or two for it to cool down. Otherwise, I'm gonna burn my mouth. Thank you. Oh wow. Okay, that's um, it's quite hot, but. Mm. So, how? Oh. Amazing. You're a genius, chef. One of the main things I taste is um, the tomato. Uh, you made it, I mean, it's nicely seasoned and you get the bit of garlic in there. Like uh, Chef Ashok said, you can pretty much do any sort of topping with that. Um, if you like seafood, prawns, maybe a bit of cuttlefish, mussels, or if you want to go with um, any ham, meats, um, you know, you can do anything with a pizza. Um, so there you go, authentic Italian pizza. Thank you, Shane. Thank you. You know, don't mind me, I'm gonna just be a pig.